the Kingdras added an extra dimension to their offense when they picked up this Sand Slash. So will the poor man's Excadrill pull off a sweep and push him through to the finals? Or will this electrifying eel shock the Kingdras and send him packing? everyone and welcome to the playoffs in the GSPL. That's right, this is the first game of the playoffs in the GSPL and it is the one seed versus the four seed uh, and that is, I guess I should say, the four seed is Gabe of the Golden State War Turtles versus Justice of the Sacramento Kings. This is a rematch from week seven and again, some good old-fashioned familial violence. Um, pretty standard team from Mr. Gents here from Gabe of the War Turtles. Other than, again, a little surprised to see the Auroras here. Um, I actually think Haxorus has a good matchup here and, and would continue to do so. Uh, yeah, I mean, just looking at the team. I mean, he does have the Durant and the Comfy. But I, I would just make it my goal. Let's kill those two things. Click Dragon Dance once or twice and go home. Um, but he disagreed. Uh, to be fair, Ice Stab isn't terrible here. Um, you do get to hit the Tang Growth, which has been a problem for a lot of teams, as well as the Crobat, which proved to be a problem last week um, for Gabe of the War Turtles. Um, and shoot, if he has Freeze Dry, he even gets to hit uh, the Swamper for four times effective damage, probably Okoing it. Um, from the other side here, uh, don't, uh, gosh, I, I feel like I've seen, uh, I feel like Justice showed me his team, uh, and I don't remember everything that's in it. I know that Tyranitar sweat set is sweet. Um, it is a Specs Tyranitar uh, with, gosh, Dark Pulse and a bunch of other stuff. Uh, frankly, I just don't remember. Um, but I'm sure we'll see it during this game. Um, I do believe you want to keep that uh, Durant healthy, uh, mainly for the Mew and the Toga King. Uh, one of the one of the things that can just come in and shut those two down. Um, comfy, also pretty. Well, I will say this: if I had to make a sack at this point uh, from their team, Comfy would be one of the first mods, uh, especially with no hacks for us. I just think he loses a little bit, uh, just of his, you know. Uh, necessity here um i mean he is okay there against the crook and again i forget his set like what he can be spec to live um but yeah he's just i think he's relatively you can kind of he's he's dispensable i guess i should say um from the other side i don't know metagross looks okay here um gets to hit I mean, steel, steel, um, steel stab is actually pretty good this game, just between hitting the comfy and the Tyranitar. Uh, and then the psychic, obviously, hitting the uh, one of the few ways I think he's going to be able to really deal with that crowbat, other than, say, the Auroras. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. Let's jump right in. I'll be interested to see what this new set is. I don't actually think he has a great matchup defensively. Uh, I think I talked about this in Pokemon Center, but I, I do think you could... I mean, he's so flexible. I'm sure he can make him work offensively with either... I don't know. He could be Scarfed or Specs or Banded. Um, I would consider... Uh, I, I, I kind of like a... Um, uh, sword stance set or, or even maybe I don't know what he uh, maybe a nasty plot too would be fun but anyways let's see what it does uh, thing one the Auroras comes out versus the Crobat here uh, yeah Crobat wants to get the heck out of here doesn't really love this matchup uh, whether it's a rock move or a nice move coming out here uh, not good for him uh, yeah so he chooses to U-turn out goes into Kotal Khan the Tyranitar by the way shout out to one of the just least cool i mean listen i'm sure some of you are big fans of kotal khan from mortal kombat but he just he's just kind of lame okay i'm sorry he's cool i've heard in like the comics but he just like in the story of mortal kombat like the games he just always kind of lets you down anyways uh enough about mortal kombat we're here to play pokemon aurora Veo fails very cool switch there i suppose from the uh kingdoms i don't know if he expected the aurora veil or just felt like this was a positive matchup um but yeah good good heads up switch stopping the aurora veil obviously that has to be done in the hail um so yeah fails Goes into the Vaporeon. Uh, Vaporeon should be pretty safe here. Uh, eats this Dark Pulse. Yeah, like I said, uh, specs. Specs on that uh, Kotal Khan there. Uh, such a cool set. Uh, anyways, goes into the Crobat. Oh, uh, see what he does. Maybe he goes for the Wish. Yep. Gets the Wish off. Sand chipping away at both Mons here. Uh, probably not want to stay in if I'm the Vaporeon, unless I have Heal Bell on my team, just because I know that thing might have Tox. It goes for the Ice Beam, I suppose that's fair. Just let's see how much damage this does. Uh, it does get the Wish off. Uh, 
I expect to see a switch here from the Vaporeon, maybe a roost here from Crobat, or you turn out. I think that's fair too. Uh, he does go for the roost, just wants this thing to be useful later. Uh, thing one, probably not going to go for the Aurora Veil and fool me once. You know what I mean? Um, anyways, goes back into Kotal Khan. See if he goes for the Aurora Veil. He did not. Goes for the Rock Tomb. Uh, not going to do a ton. Not going to do a lot there. Uh, does get the speed drop. Well, I don't know if that matters. I don't know what the speed investment thing is here. Does go for the Dark Pulse. Uh, I don't think this thing actually has a rock move, by the way. I don't know how well this thing's going to be able to hit this Toga Kiss. Uh, I think if I remember right, like, I think Justice and I were talking about this, and I think the strongest, like, special rock move uh, Tyranitar gets is Ancient Power, which, I mean, just probably isn't going to cut it. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I believe he just for, for like, he, he just chose to skip the, the rock move, chose to forego the rock move for, I think he's got, like, Ice Beam and Thunderbolt or something. I don't know. Goes into the Crocodile here. Pretty safe switch in. Uh, eat, gonna eat anything up this guy wants to do. Uh, not a great matchup. Don't really want to see a Scald here from Sub-Zero. One of the cooler Mortal Kombat characters, by the way. Anyways, uh, looks like this is a Life Orb. Um, and Gokoff did a ton, by the way. Holy cow. Um, yeah, I'm probably switching here if I'm the... If I'm the uh, Swamper, it goes for superpower. Kind of surprised by that, but whatever. In comes Goro. It takes a lot of damage between the Rocky Helmet and the uh, the Rocky Helmet and the Life Orb. Goes into the Mew, knowing ah, I could probably eat anything this thing wants to do. Uh, Kirby, the Mew is in. Goro going for the Protect. Goes for the Defog. Okay, okay, gets rid of them rocks. Oh wait, no, he doesn't because of the protect apologies finally gets the defog off gets rid of them rocks leech seed does stay though the knockoff does a lot to these to this mew i believe this is some kind of defensive mew here uh he's probably fine to stay in if he can get off a roost he chooses to leave just because i believe knockoff would have done significantly less damage uh gets rid of the leftovers from the togekiss such a cool fairy by the way um ancient power not going to do a lot i'd probably be spamming air slash here but hey it is what it is it could be just trying to cheese his way to like give me a couple inch power boosts and I could probably just win this whole game by myself. He does not get the inch power boost and Kotal Khan comes in. Uh, we'll see if he does have, you know, Ice Beam, Thunder, Thunderbolt, whatever. Uh, he does have the Ice Beam. Not going to do a ton. Uh, thing one eats that up, though he is getting chipped pretty well here. Uh, I think he can pretty safely go for the Aurora Veil at this point. Uh, we'll see if he does. He does go for the Aurora Veil. Very smart, knowing that there's nothing he can do to stop it. Uh, let's see if what he can do with this, because uh, this could could lead to a sweep. I mean, legitimately, this could do a lot. Um, Dark Pulse is going to do a lot to the Metagross. We'll see if he has like agility weakness policy would be so dope. Um, he do Okay, Cosmic Power. Dude, dude, how sweet. Like, I think it could sweep. Hold on. Hold on. Give me a second here. Let's say this guy had agility. Takes a super effective knockoff here. He's plus two speed. He gets the plus two attack boost. And let's say he's like Meteor Mash, some psychic move. And gosh, he doesn't need a ton else. Maybe just one other move or so. And he might sweep. I suppose he probably takes a lot from Durant first impression. Um, so that could matter. But anyways, uh, just a big beefy boy at this point is going to get seated though, uh, which will just slowly chip away. I don't really know what this guy can do. Um, goes for the agility. Okay, he's all in. Double dance. Agility. I'm super fast. I'm here to stay. I, uh, my defenses are insane. Doesn't particularly matter because of the leech sheet. This is going to chip him away. He's going to have a hard time breaking through. <laughs> I just noticed this thing's thing too. Uh, he is going to have a hard time breaking through this um, Togekiss, and he is just getting just completely chipped away. In fact, he's completely out of the and Rocky Helmet. Yeah, I, I don't even think even even with all these boosts, I don't think this thing beats Goro one v one. Unfortunately, uh, just between the Giga Drain, the Leech Seed, uh, the Rocky Helmet, like he just this just ain't going to cut it for him. Uh, gets the knockoff off. Tell me he had weakness policy. Oh! Oh, he did. He's balling now, but he's about to die, dude. Oh, Gabe. Oh, well. That was really bad for Gabe. If you're a fan of the War Turtles, that wasn't good. It wasn't what you want to see. Uh, maybe see a Roost here. I really don't know. Air Slash does a lot to, uh, what's his name, too. Uh, goes for the Roost. Kotal Khan is in, and I'm just clicking Ice Beam probably. 
goes for the air slash does he get that flinch he's gonna need a lot of flinches in a row to get this one taken care of a lot uh i mean he's he's he could get a few in a row don't get me wrong switches into the aurora's probably expecting the ice beam goes for the thunderbolt so it is i think it's what dark pulse ice beam thunderbolt shoot i don't know what else thunderbolt does finish him off kotal khan making a name for himself saying hey i suck in the games but i'm pretty i'm looking pretty good here i'm a big old godzilla thing anyways here comes hydration needs to try to get a, get this toxic off does he have heal bell we'll, be, we'll find out right now does not has the wish don't really know why you go for wish there uh yeah anyways um i'm gonna go for the ice beam i'm sure nope goes for crook gonna eat anything this thing can do up uh, goes for the tailwind though okay okay um durant could probably come in and sweep at this point with if he can u-turn out uh, a little scary though to u-turn out on a knockoff something strong you don't want to see uh, but yeah if he can u-turn in uh durant with a big old bug move it'll kill the crap out of this thing does go for the u-turn goes into the i'm gonna guess the durant nope goes into the tang growth okay okay no one i'll eat anything up this guy wants to do and he sure is correct the toxic chipping away plus gosh plus the life orb damage this is rocky helmet too this is not where you want to be gabe needs some ancient power boosts here or something needs to find a way to get these leash sheaves off him too uh tang growth just been so impressive in my opinion um this whole season uh has an act oh he does have the heel bill okay that's what he needed that's what he needed um unfortunately it might be a little too late um protect not gonna i mean he doesn't care obviously goes for the air slash and that is a crit dead tang growth holy cow that thing could take on like a plus two to every single stat metagross could not take on one air slash from my boy tang growth or from my boy togekiss favorite fairy though he does have terrible special defense so what do i know uh iron head it will just outright oko this thing i expect to see the switch we do go into the vaporeon uh what did he go for he goes for the home claws maybe expect Oh, Sector's a cool Mortal Kombat character. Um, expecting the switch. Very clever. Uh, very risky, by the way, to stay in there, uh, given uh, Air Slash does a lot. <laughs> um, but anyways, he does get the uh, boost to his... Um, he gets the boost with Home Claws, expecting the switch, and holy cow, Exazor is strong. Hustle. Hustle Home Claws is pretty dope. Looks like he's also a life orb set, and I believe at this point he just outright sweeps. We are gonna see four kills. Unless unless I'm mistaken, and something here is scarfed, which I don't I think we know it's not because I we know Togekiss uh, is not scarfed, and we know Kruk. Uh, okay, the intimidate. Okay, okay, sure. I think that's fair, Ironhead. I don't think it matters. I think hustle, I just think the hustle boost alone is enough to finish this off. And I believe this will be it. Yes, sir. This is it for Mr. Gents, Gabe of the War Turtles. You had a good season, especially for your first time in anything related to competitive Pokemon. Um, but Big Brother Justice, proves why Big Brothers are the best brothers. Shout out to Austin and Trevor. <laughs> Uh, anyways, yeah, pretty good sweep there uh, out of the um, Durant uh, of the Kingdras. Um, just kind of whittled everything down enough to where after one boost, I mean, that's what you do, right? You get, you want to just whittle everything down just enough to where one boost uh, is going to be enough. I uh, didn't even need to worry about the speed. Uh, again, kind of Gabe's um, lack of speed uh talked about a little bit all season uh came back to bite him a little bit here uh just because i mean this thing uh, isn't actually that fast uh, but was able to outspeed the rest of gabe's team um yeah that's it congratulations uh to the kingdras uh you are in the finals uh we don't know yet who you will play uh but i'm sure you will be prepared gabe also just congratulations making it this far man uh good work out there uh, yeah, but that's it. That is it. Uh, thank you, everyone, for watching, and we'll see you next time.